Howdy, this is Rochelle. Today I'm going to do a product review of the Thinline Flexible Filly Slow Feed Grazing Muzzle. I was prompted to buy this because I had two of the rubbery type of muzzles that uh, we use for turnout and my horses just hated them and they were causing rubs and, and they're also difficult to use and I'll show you some videos with what that was looking like. So I had a recommendation that I should check out these muzzles and I went ahead and bought three of them. So I have one for each horse because they're all chunky monkeys. And what I realized is I'm really excited to go through this product review and show you the differences between the current muzzles that they had as well as these thin line muzzles. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put them together as well as walk you through the benefits that I found for these muzzles. Okay. So I've started to unpack this and look at what do I have here. So this comes in, each muzzle comes in a bag, which is fine. I don't know that I would use it again, but okay, fine. So each one comes in a bag. Um, I ordered two muzzles that are oversized draft, and I ordered one muzzle that is mini to pony. So it was interesting because the muzzles were, there were three sizes. There was mini to pony, cob to horse, oversized to draft. So when I read about what it required, it said to, um, it said for, for warm bloods, use the oversized to draft. It said a horse size would be for a small horse, which I didn't think mine fit. So I went with the oversized to draft here. Clearly my mini gets a mini. That was easy. The horse halters though, so these were the, I ordered their halters and I debated about this because I have leather halters that I would, I could dedicate to the turnout. I always wanted to have leather or something that could break. And so I'm not a big fan of nylon for that purpose. But the horse halters were interesting. Um, and the reason I ordered these was because the way that they have this stitching, they have some holes here for when you want to affix the muzzles onto the halters. And if you notice in the picture here, they're going to be affixed with cable ties in multiple places. So having these places will keep it from sliding around the halter and can prevent rubs from the cable ties onto the horse as well. So I decided that I wanted to buy their halter. So I bought three. I, now this was interesting because the, the size on this is a horse. They had like five sizes, if I recall, of the halters. And so it seemed like the um, horse size was gonna fit them better. I did just go test this halter on Dolce and it does work, so I'm okay with it. And now I'm just gonna start my process. I'm gonna use Dolce as my, my tester here and, and get going. Now the way that on the website that it recommends that you install this, is that, and there may be some instructions in here, I haven't opened it up yet. Oh. Muzzle fitting instructions, clearly. But it recommends that you use some sort of string to figure out how do you want to set the holes on these. And then you, once you figure out the settings with it, you zip tie. So, so it's gonna go there, and then there are three, one, two, three pieces there, that'll go there. Uh, the center, and then there's three in the back, the center one will go here, and then the two will go to these right here. It suggests that you use basically these uh, small ties just to get the size right and the fit on there and which hole you want, and then you can affix it with the other ties. Okay, now I think I have it adjusted okay. I had to drop down the ones in the front because I had them all on the, between the third and fourth hole. I dropped down the ones in the front by a hole so that, because it was hitting the top of her lip, but it said about an inch. So it should hang and not hit her lip, which it looks like it's doing fairly well there. And um, so I think I've got the adjustment good. So now I'm gonna go out and try this adjustment on Oakley and see if that fits him too. As I said, it'd be nice if they all both fit together, but I just wanna see that and see that how that works out in the field. Thank you, Dolce, for being my model. Yes, you were very good. So these are the muzzles I have today with them on. As you can see, <laughs> Although a horse just whinnied. Oakley was able to eat grass through that. He's able to get a little bit of grass. I can see it in, even in the muzzle. But you can see where this piece of nylon constricts air a little bit through the nostril there. Doesn't do it so much with Spike because he's got a bigger opening and a smaller nostril, so he's okay. With Spike, I had to put 
this nose guard on there, the fleece on there, because it was rubbing very badly, and it was early on. And so once I did that, we haven't had a problem. He absolutely hates it, though. So the other thing is, these are, they're nice because they're breakaway, but the problem is, is I can't lead him with it. I don't want to put a halter underneath it. I can't really get a normal halter over it. So I have a rope halter that I'm able to put over it to walk him to and from the pasture, but I can't, it has a snap here, which is absolutely useless. On Spike, I'm able to put my lead rope here and have a little bit of control. I don't really want to do that with this boy. Oh, somebody's winning over there, isn't they? So just as a comparison, the two muzzles, this one is definitely heavier. So um, I can feel absolutely the weight difference between the two. So look at him. He's like, I got food. I got to hurry and eat as much as I can. Let me get as much of my mouth as I can. Oh, my. I know they're, they're coming and running. Hi. What are you doing over there, buddy? Yeah. Hi. Let's see how this fits. This is now on hole number two. It is hitting your nose though. So, whereas Dolce it didn't hit, let me put two and two on both sides. And that's actually okay. Let's see what happens here. I think this is, Jesse Dolce's breeder told me that the horses were getting frustrated about not being able to get it in the hole and that she had to open up the holes bigger with a small hole. And I can kind of see that right now. Because if you see the hole different size here versus in this one, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to open that up. That's, he's really not able to get anything out of there. Now he's trying to get it through the side, which is what they tell you not to do. And they said if it, they try to eat them through other holes to lift up the two on the side that are on the rings on the side of the halter. Oh, we got something there. Oh, that was great. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to keep adjusting. Hurry, eat as much as you can right now. Hurry, hurry. You may starve. You may starve, mister. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. I know. They're awful torture devices. So I do think the whole size in here being so small, it's, it's going to need to be opened up. There's no doubt about it. Okay. So if you can see this opening right now, it is measuring roughly an inch in diameter, um, just just right at an inch. I found this washer that's an inch and a half washer. It's an interesting washer, but it's about an inch and a half washer. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my guide. And so I'm gonna mark this, trying to figure out what I wanna mark it with so I can cut it. I, am, I can't just cut willy nilly. I am too much a perfectionist for that. Let's see what that does. Okay. okay, so I went and grabbed my scissors. I'm gonna use these scissors to cut it. I took it off the halter because I think it's easier to do it when it's open. And it does cut pretty easily. I just want it to be round and not jagged. Let me jagged there for a second. There we go. So that did pretty good. Wipe off my ink. There we go. That will make my horses happier. Now what's nice about this is they did give us some extra cable ties. Them. Okay, so let's start doing the sides first. Okay, sides first. So on the sides, I'm going to have two holes above, and on the back, I'm going to have, in the, in the back, two holes above. On the front, it's only going to be one hole above is where I've got it. Now, I'll trim that out and when I'm done, but I just want to remember where my fitting was. So the way it says is to put this on the outside, and I'll just let these in here just to so remember where it was, and then to trim it down after that. It says to 
put these where the cable ties are going downward, which I assume is the case here. Oh, those are nice cable ties. Those are really nice cable ties because it's not going to be sticking up like you would have normal cable ties where you have that sharp edge. Okay. Now, but you do need to bend cable tie. Wow, those are really nice cable ties. Okay. I am impressed. And these will be much easier to get on. Okay, on the front, I had one hole above and then through the piece. Very nice. God, those are great. Sorry, I'm excited about cable ties. I know I'm nutty. So now I'm trimming up the last piece. A little bit rounded, more rounded there. Okay. And that's it. These are done. It's still, as I said, it still blocks this a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. I can, I can get a lead rope around that. I'm fairly pleased on how they did it. I love these zip ties, I can't tell you. Because I hate zip ties that you do it and they, the rough edge sticks out so it nabs you. This does not nab you. Where I cut it, it does not nab you. I gotta give them credit for that. That is really, that is really awesome. I could have gone with cheap ones that do that and they did not. All right, now I've got two more to make up and then my guys will have new muzzles. In all, I absolutely recommend these thin line, flexible, filly, slow feed grazing muzzles uh, with their halter. I would get their halter again as well. There was an option for halter padding and I didn't get that. I guess I could go back and get that if I need it. I was afraid it was going to be hot, so I decided not to. But I am very impressed with the halter, and, and I've now had a couple of days of turnout with it. Uh, they haven't destroyed anything yet. They've been able to eat. They haven't been too frustrated, although Oakley can't chew on Spike as much as he would like to. Other than that, uh, they are pretty happy with it. So, and I'm much happier because it's so much easier to handle them with this this new uh, crazy muzzle as well. Thanks for watching. We're going to be posting more videos related to equine simplified tips and tricks, as well as general horse care topics. So please remember to subscribe so that you can get the latest. Now, time to go play with the horses. Cheers. <laughs>